So I'm going to talk about why the Vita wasn't the success I think it should have been. Just for the record, I like the Vita. I think it's a very underrated handheld. When the Vita was first released, it had some pretty decent AAA titles released, such as Uncharted Golden Abyss and Killzone Mercenary. Here's what I think held it back. When it was first released, there was no built-in storage. So, of course, after you buy the Vita, of course you'd want a game. And after you buy the game, you have to buy one of the Sony Vita memory cards because they're the only ones that work with the Sony Vita. Even though they're about the same size as a micro SD, and there was a reason they did this. It's because when the original PlayStation, the PlayStation 1, was released, companies started making their own memory cards, the third-party memory cards, which Sony wasn't a fan of, which is why the PlayStation 2, you can only use Sony memory cards, if I remember correctly. And I understand that it's a business decision. They're all missing out on profits. So the second version of the PS Vita did have a built-in memory and I'm pretty sure they no longer manufacture physical copies of the Vita games anymore. And I think another thing that didn't help is mobile gaming was just coming into its own. So some people are like, why would you want to carry two devices when you can just carry your phone? But I'm going to talk about some of the pros of the Vita. I mean, you can find some pretty decent indie titles on the store. And another good feature is you can buy some of the PS1 games. Okay, they're emulated, but it's still good to go back to them. I actually got Destruction Derby on there a while back, and that was fun to play again. Tomb Raider, which is a lot harder than I remember as well. But it was fun to play the old PlayStation 1 games, and they're pretty cheap, so you can't complain. Another good feature is the remote play, so if you want to play somewhere else using your PS4 and your Wi-Fi, say if you want to play with yourself in your room. No, crap. Bad choice of words, but you know what I mean. I think the biggest reason it wasn't that successful was its lack of support from Sony. And just for the record, I do like Sony products. I've had every version of the PlayStation. But why make something like that and then just pretty much abandon it? Well, there hasn't been any new releases on the store in the TV shows or movies in a while. I've noticed when you go to the PlayStation Store on the Vita. I think if Sony do decide to go back into the handheld market, they should support the product. Look at me telling a multi-million dollar company what to do. And I still play with my Vita occasionally. I still like it. I think it's still, uh, it's like I said, it's a very underrated handheld. Okay, let us know what you think. Agree, disagree, let me know in the comments below. If you like what you see, hit like. If you don't, no hard feelings. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again soon.